Let's scroll down the right. Here's go. I think that the website looks too complicated it is, as it is. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to close many of these blocks. The reception I will leave, otherwise users will not be able to log in. Uh, admin and submissions I will also leave. Okay, so I will, after I hit commit, only be left with admin navigation, submissions, and reception over on the right. Commit. The changes are now saved to the database. And in my tab, I shall reload the home page. Now, all we see is the admin navigation, our reception block, submission block, and no more blocks on the right or on the left however we do still have blocks left in the center what are these blocks okay these are actually news stories this is a news story and this too is a news story this and this are actually system messages or at least that's what PHP Nuke calls them. I go back to the main administration program you can access these website messages from here. Choose the message that you wish to edit or delete here or here. In our case I'm going to delete the admin welcome message confirm and now I refresh the home page we will see that the admin welcome message is gone the next thing I'd like to do is customize this block I could either go back to the administration panel and click website messages or because I'm logged in as administrator I see this and I can click edit here This version of PHP Nuke comes with FCK editor, which is a Wigsy what you see, what you get text editor. It's a great text editor. It gives you full control over your text, in many ways much the same as a word processor. You can also add links, images, flash files, including YouTube videos, tables, and so forth. As you can see, there's quite an impressive array of functionality with this text editor. In the old days, a lot of these functionality you'd have to code by hand. It would take some time. This is so much easier. Anyway, I'm going to change this to welcome to our tutorial website. Here you will find help on using PHP Nook. I'm going to save the changes. Go back to the home page. And you can now see it's changed. It's that easy. The new stories for example here I have not selected a topic therefore an image has not come up I actually did this on purpose so that I could demonstrate how to edit a story uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this no, there's often several different ways as with computers to achieve the same goal um, I find the easiest way is to 
either click more, uh, read more, or comments. Upon the next page, if you are logged in as admin, you will see this block here. Admin functions. Add, edit, or delete. I want to edit. I want to sort out the problem with the image. Here we go. It's because it's set to all topics. I'm going to change that to server. Save the changes. Go back to the home page. And the image has now changed. I could have changed the text, added image, I could have added a YouTube video. I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to edit a story. If you wish to post a new story, you can do so here. You can also make um, the submission process public. So at the end of a match or a quest, your members can post up a report on that match or that quest. They can add their screenshots, etc. And when they submit it, instead of it automatically appearing on the home page, it's actually flagged uh, for administration approval. So the admins have full control over what's actually published to your home page. Uh, it's, it's, it's also a lot easier from, a, from an admin's perspective if your members are submitting the news for you. So, in this tutorial, I've explained the difference between a block and a module, the different types of blocks, left block, right block, center up and center down blocks. I've also explained what a module is and the functionality that different mod modules will bring to your website and also with this particular site the news module is loaded into the home page so the latest news submissions will appear on the home page I think that's a practical layout if you don't like that layout you can change by visiting the modules admin you can click from the administration menu or from the main PHP Nuke administration menu the modules administration is also Ajax based. Now we know which module is loaded into the home page because of this icon here and when we hover over it does indeed say in home. If I would like another module to appear on my home page such as the shout box I come across to this icon here it's a simple click and the change is made. If I now return back to my home page, you'll see that the news module is no longer loaded into the home page. We now have the shout box appearing. Because I turned off or rather closed all center up and center down blocks, there are no blocks to appear above or below the search, the shout box module. We do of course have our website message appearing here. Website messages will always appear on top of everything else. This area here, I would suggest you use to tell your visitors a little about what your site is, what games you play, uh, a general site description. It will always remain at the top of your homepage. You think I've covered everything? I think that covers layout shown how to move blocks around, enable, disable, modules, etc. Uh, if I have missed anything which you think would be relevant to this video, please do put a post up in our forums. I'll be happy to uh, add to this or remake. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you find this useful.